Well, in the last video, I thought the elevator was pretty much done. And I decided to do a few more things before I started the wing. And one of the things that I thought would be easy is to put this bolt in. But when I pushed the bearings in, like all of them, they collapse a little bit. And it was a royal pain in the butt to get the bolt in. With the rudder, I was able to hone it out with a, a screwdriver. I'm uh, sorry, screwdriver, a uh, drill bit and make them fit and here i could do it on the actual elevator the exposed part but or on, i should say on the horizontal stabilizer but i could not get at it in the elevator um i put a post out there and some of you guys replied and i'm just going to this is video editing at its best but i'm just going to replay what i came up with there Reaming out that that the, pushing here. The noise sounds a lot worse than it really was, was. The right combination of screwdrivers. Extensions. and hex-sided drill bits and a very nice gesture of Rand leaving this cutout so I can fit the head of the screwdriver in. Success 2020. Yeah so what I did basically because these were hard to get to these ones I could get with an extension that I had from here with a screwdriver which is like an angled you know hex point adapter um, and then put it in there. Then to get all the way down there I didn't want to go in crooked, so I made all these extensions with a angle, uh, wherever it ended up, right about here. So it would go past this hinge and allow me to put the head inside this hinge. Um, and that worked. Uh, put all that together, bolted it all up, nice and tidy. And then I wanted to do these end caps because they told you to wait to put it all together. And I really found I had a hard time like pushing these forward enough. The clearance here was, you know, it clears, but it wasn't quite as much as it was there. So they tell you to push them forward, mark them, transfer drill them, and basically put the washers in and put them in. Um, I sanded, I cut them down where the, the forming line was from the thermal forming. And then I took about another eighth of an inch off. This is before I put these shims in here, just to make them flush. Then I did put these shims in here. There's a little bit of tension on there, pushing them forward. And I'm contemplating of heating these up a little bit to try and to get them to slide forward a little bit more. But by doing these shims, it, it's even, because uh, this one's chamfered this way and this one's chamfered that way. They're basically just door shim, door shim shims. And... Uh, because it wanted to push this out, that's why I put this strap on. And there's not a lot of pressure on this strap. It just basically holds it in. So the plan right now is just to let this sit overnight. And uh, maybe they'll form into it a little bit tomorrow. If I can't get rid of this gap here, maybe I'll apply a little bit of heat to convince the front part of this to go forward some more. Um, and or a little bit sanding. But I would like to see this gap at this size, which is probably a little bit less than a quarter inch um, under normal circumstances, you know, without me pushing it up. If I let this go, it kind of slides back and almost touches the, the rivets there. So yeah, the elevator continues. All right, I'm really happy with the way that came out. I did it on both sides. And uh, remember I had a little gap in here and I couldn't couldn't get this forward enough. So I had these wedges in here overnight. So today, what I did is I just took the heat gun and I set it on medium-high heat and I basically just warmed the aluminum part. So you really have to focus most of the heat here um, because you don't want to distort the actual plastic itself. And that kind of just allowed it to move comfortably forward. And now I will transfer these, uh, these holes and, and get these end caps on. Just to finish off the series of the elevator, 
I got the end caps on both sides, riveted them in. I have a nice, I don't know if you can tell, but much, much better spacing now. And uh, really happy the way they fit in there. Elevator is hanging up here, ready for, I was contemplating actually putting in the, the Tenement clips and putting all these pieces in just so they're out of my piece box, but um, uh, I decided to start on the wings, deburring all that. So we'll return to that when the time comes.